According to the Office of the United Nations High Commission for Human Rights and World Health Organization, fact sheet number 31 said that right to health includes the right to access to health care and building of hospitals, also to be free from torture and other cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishments. Also, it includes that health services, goods and facilities must be provided to all without any discrimination. International Humanitarian Law The occupying power has the duty of ensuring and maintaining with cooperation of national and local authorities the medical and hospital establishment and services, public health and hygiene in the occupied territory, medical personnel of all categories shall be allowed to carry out their duties. Okay, as an occupied country, I see that we may face many problems in different sectors over here, but majorly in the health sector. Uh, one of the major problems in the health sector is the permits, in which Israeli authorities have to give patients that need to go outside the West Bank, like to East Jerusalem, a permit to go and have their surgery or treatment there. Uh, males between age 15 and 30 are usually rejected for no reasons. Children that need to go past the need permits, and the bigger problem is that even their parents need permits to go with them, which even makes the process more complicated. تحويل على مستشفيات إسرائيلية بحالات صعبة عندنا في البلد بيكون إجراءات على المعابر وأشياء بتخلي الشخص المريض لما يوصل على المستشفى الإسرائيلي تكون حالته متدهورة ويكون الوضع صحي صعب جدا. Ambulances even t uh, take hard time at the checkpoints. They need to are delayed there. They need to be checked, and sometimes they're not allowed to pass. The patients need to be removed from the ambulance, the hospital, the Palestinian ambulance, all the way to the Israeli ambulance, which even takes more time. It's at least 10 minutes, and we know how critical it is for patients to reach at time. Okay. Palestinian residents suffer from poor healthcare uh, uh, system here. Uh, they not receive appropriate treatment. There is no, uh, there is no available medications in the prisons that treat uh, the exacerbation, uh, the chronic conditions of prisoners. This confirms the penetrations of uh, third and fourth materials of um, Geneva uh, agreements, uh, which confirms the Palestinian prisoners' uh, rights for uh, receive appropriate medications and um, doing the periodic health uh, exams here. There is no uh, healthy living environment in the prisons. Lack of ventilation, highest moisture, exacerbate the prisoners' conditions. And no available specialist doctor. One doctor for all conditions. One treatment for all uh, conditions. One of my personal stories with the permits problems with my math teacher, she was Russian that came and lived here. She had breast cancer. In Russia, she was treated appropriately, but when she came here, her health deteriorated slowly. It spread to uterus, intestines, and uh, stomach. She needed a permit to go to East Jerusalem to be treated there. At that time, Israeli had a, was in a high security alert situation, so uh, the permits were invalid. She had to go through bypass roads. She even had to walk two days walking to reach there. And I finally, after she reached there, they let her pass through. But as we know, uh, cancer is a chronic, so she needs to go more than once to be treated there. Each time she goes, they either don't give her the permit, either they close the checkpoint, so she couldn't go. Eventually, she died from the cancer. So we can see how the permits are really an issue and that they can destroy people's health and lives. <laughs> إن في مثلا على سبيل المثال إن في عنا الجرحى اللي بنجرحه في المواجهات بنجرحه في اعتداءات المستوطنين وفي اعتداءات جيش الاحتلال ما بنسمح لهم يتعالجوا خارج الوطن ما بتطلع لهم الجوازات ما بسمح في التحويلات وفي نفس الوقت في مستشفيات الاحتلال نفسها ما ما بتسمح لهم يدخلوا وبترفض تصاريحهم يعني هي أول إشي كشكل رئيسي كمشكلة رئيسية برجع الموضوع للاحتلال من الناحية إنه مراقبة الحدود وعدم تدخل الأدوية بشكل مناسب وعدم تدخل الموارد المتخلي الصانع الموجود الضفة تعمل أدوية بشكل جودة عالية عشان يعالج المرضى مستشفيات عن عدم الرقابة الصحية وزارة ما تشتغل شغلها حالات الوفيات في المستشفيات تعلى لأنه فيش أدوية مناسبة والأدوية الإسرائيلية يدوب توصل والبوصل منها في نسبة تكون مخلصة تاريخها ومخلصة إنتاجها حتى على مستوى الشوارع 
على مستوى الرقابه الصحيه في الشارع وفي المحل هو من هون فيش رقابه على الموارد الغذائيه زي ما لازم وهذا الشيء الرئيسي بنعتمد عليه انه احنا لحومنا برضه غير صحيه هذا كله بيؤدي لمشاكل صحيه بشكل عائق قدام البلد كله الصعوبات اللي اللي بيواجهها اي حدا هون بفلسطين من ناحيه الصحه عندنا كثير ناس بتصاوبوا بيستشهدوا ناس بتموت ولا ناس بصير معها سرطان او الى اخره مش شيء سهل انك تمرض بفلسطين ممكن انك تموت هون بفلسطين بيكون اسهل من انك تمرض أه بذكر بنت صغيرة عنا بالبلد كان معها سرطان مثلا اعتقد انه قاعدة تقريبا شهرين وهم بس بيحاولوا يحولوا لها ويسهلوا لها تصريع عشان تدخل يعني فعليا كان السرطان صار صار ماكل جسمها لحد ما لحد ما دخلوها على اسرائيل وبداوا يعالجها والله يرحمها بحكي عن ناس ثانيين واحد على المحسوم تصاوب ووقفوا الجنود حواليه مش عارف زي ربع ساعة لحد ما تصفى دمنا بحكي عن شهيد تاني ضربوه وطخوه برصاصة براسة وقعدوا يستنوا فيه لحد ما ما تصفت كل كل دمه استشهد اه بحكي عن كل هدول الناس اللي اللي بيمرضوا بس فعليا هم مش بيمرضوا هم فعليا بيموتوا بيموتوا بس شوي شوي بعطونا هيك امل انهم ضل بس بالاخر بموتونا يعني زي زي بحطوا لنا سم بالكاسه وبيحكوا لنا اشربوا يلا بنعالجكم بعد لا بلا 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 من سنين هي حياتنا ممكن ممكن هذا اللي احكي وهذا اللي اللي الخصه The World Health Organizations and UNRWA should push on the Israeli authorities to guarantee for Palestinians free access to health and they have the rights to be treated at any time. I think here we should work better on the health system in the West Bank so we can less rely on the permits and go to, to the Israeli hospitals and be treated. Uh, I think more cases and reports and stories of how patients suffer here need to be reached out for the world.